Open mic was on this date with a comedian, and I had expressed to him that I wanted to try stand up. And he's like, Well, why don't you do it tonight? Do it at this open mic. And I bombed so bad that afterwards he goes, Well, that, that went worse than I expected. <laughs> and then he tried to kiss me right after. And I thought that that was it. I thought I would never do it again. But I do love it. And then it took me another two years to, to, to try it again. So now, on AGT, I'd like to do better than I did for that. And then I'd love to find a man. That would be really cool. <laughs> it's your time. Okay. All right, go All out right. there and do what you do. Okay. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Erica Rhodes. Hi, Erica. Where are you from? I'm from Boston, but I live in L.A. <laughs> wow. I think you just covered both coasts right there. Yep. And, covered it all. Okay. And are you nervous? A little bit, actually. Yeah. Surprising me. Yeah. The, the, how, you're surprised how nervous you are? I am a little surprised by myself. Because you, this is the biggest stage in the world. This can, you know, win you a million dollars. Yeah. It's... You think you can win? I think so. I want to be surprised. Okay. Okay, and uh, <laughs> now I'm nervous too. <laughs> and that's surprising. Best of luck, young lady. Thank you. Wow, this is very exciting. Um, I kind of dressed up for you guys. I'm just dressing for the job I want now, uh, which is an attainable trophy wife. <laughs> I just want to be a participation trophy wife. <laughs> I want guys to look at me and be like, yeah, I could afford that. <laughs> she looks like she'd appreciate like a thrift store frock, something half off. I do like thrift stores. I shop at them a lot. Um, I think it's because I emotionally connect to the clothing, because I know what it's like to feel used. <laughs> I am still looking for love, but it's hard. You know, I just got my heart broken for the 15th time <laughs> by the same guy. I love her. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me 15 times, wow. <laughs> I'm impressed. What else you got? <laughs> but he was successful, and I think at first that sounds fun, you know, to date a successful guy, like a guy with money. Uh, the problem is I found out they don't always give you the money. <laughs> right? Sometimes they just talk about having the money, and you're like, can I have some? And they're like, no, but you can watch me have it. And you're like, that's not as fun as sharing. <laughs> and he would show me things he had. Like, one time he showed me a house he had in the woods. And he did a big gesture, like, look at my house. And I was like, uh-huh. And he's like, wow, I thought you'd have a bigger reaction. And I was like, are you giving me the house? <laughs> like, I'll react if you're giving me the house, but I can look at houses that aren't mine all day long. I can Google the mansion section and be like, oh, look at all the houses that aren't mine. I'm not going to have a reaction. If you want a reaction, give me a house. I'll react however you want. <laughs> <laughs> then he'd vent about his problems. He'd be like, I don't know if I should vacation in Paris or Rome this summer. I was like, I get it. I totally get it. Because sometimes I'm like, should I cry in my car or my studio apartment tonight? <laughs> like, where should I cry? Wow. Enjoy Rome. Oh, my God. I also found out I'm a sapiosexual, <laughs> which means I like smart men. Uh, so I'll probably die alone. You kind of got us all right there. Thanks so much. That's it for me. Thank you.